welcome back to another episode of Toronto FC's Road to the Copa Libertadora. This is Freestyle. We're coming off a string of games that can only be described as a roller coaster ride. We lost our first game, then we came back with a huge victory, and then we lost, and then we won. So we're still sitting in seventh place, which is one position lower than what qualifies us for the Copa Libertadores. We're, we're in that last stretch. Hopefully, the next few games go our way and we can uh, get into those top six spots. So, without further ado, let's get to it. We are thankfully still in seventh place. Our last string of games weren't the best. We did have some good performances from defensive side of things. Daniel Jimenez and Mabika were fantastic. Ike Ugbo had a hat trick in his first game. However, we did lose Lorenzo Insigne to a three month injury. Federico Bernardeschi is now moved to Atalanta. So there's been quite a shakeup in the team. The other thing you can notice is on the screen right now, if you look at the standings, besides 12th place Rosario Central, Nobody has lost as, as many games as I have now. Again, next four teams below me are eight losses to my nine. But still, the teams above me have only lost four games, six games. I've lost nine. Our inability to turn losing games into draws has hurt us. A lot of that has to do with our shooting woes, the amount of times we missed the net. But I think Ike Ugbo is going to fix that for us. So without further ado, let's hop into the next game. Um, this is, Hura I think it's Hurasan or Hurakan. Probably Huracan. After this game, we'll, we will get a youth academy report from Chile. I think it was physically strong that we were scouting. And then we've got almost the entire month off before we play, I believe that's LAFC in our very first domestic cup tournament. So August is a pretty quiet month. And actually most of, most of the next few bit is all cup games. That's interesting. Actually, the second half of the season looks like it's all cup games. So it looks like the season ends hmm interesting looks like this is the end of the season and then the cup games begin all right so that's something i did not know nevertheless let's hop in let's play this game against Huracan. i think we're gonna go the yemenes mabika route because these two guys have been great i will keep everybody else as starters you can see ugbo is a little tired but he's gonna push through we got curry off the bench if we need to Beautiful BMO field here in lovely Toronto, Ontario, and Canada. To really and Ray, rough. Back here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside it feels the weird that Insigne is not the one that's it's controlling this ball and starting and the game off for us. You're here. This is the final they game of the season. Huracan. To Thompson, Thompson. down to... Oh, we almost, we almost got it. We almost got that through. Oh, great interception by Kay. Finds Thompson over the top to Osorio, to who plays it across. I was trying to play it across to Ubo. How did it go to all the way there? We got robbed. Not the most passing to, but again, I'm kind of used to the ball not going where I expected. Oh, that was a terrible header by Ubo. What happened there? What happened there? Ugbo had a terrible header. Goalkeeper fell down for some reason, and Osorio heads the ball into an empty net. Look at this. This was a really bad header. What happened here? Oh, that is bad. That is real bad. He, the goalkeeper just, he just dropped to the ground. Not the way we want to score, but we'll take it. Jonathan Osorio. Wearing that captain's armband, scoring his fourth goal of the season. Let's go. Oh. Ah, really bad defending. Again, a weak goal to give up. The, the per, their perpetual ability to keep the ball. Look at right to the goal. That, that should just be caught. This is a makeup for their terrible play. The, the real score is 0-0. Because on that side, the goalkeeper jumped up, caught the ball. On this side, the goalkeeper just cradles this ball into his chest, and we're good. We could really get at the opposition. Oh, Great play. Great save. All right, let's, uh, let's get an outswinger here. Petreta. 
Oh my goodness, what a great header by Ubo. An incredible save by the goalkeeper. He's made a handful of fantastic saves. Here, out wide, in, over. Let's go! The captain comes through yet again. Look at this, just this pass here was key because it opened up space for Osorio who made no mistake, one touch with his weak foot, fantastic goal. Let's go. Petretta is gonna come out for Gutierrez just to give us a little bit of defend defensive uh, stability because we know what's gonna happen here. They're gonna take the kickoff and they're gonna push all the way down the field. So we need to be really, really careful here on defense. And so it begins, and so it begins. And so it begins. Great defending. That was a great play by Gutierrez. What a header by Daniel Jimenez. Held on. Last game of the season. Huge win for Toronto FC. Uh, this is the first time we're seeing this. It's really weird that Toronto FC have stolen Iceland's celebration, but I guess it's kind of neat. Last game of the season, huge victory for Toronto FC. So if I look at the standings, so now it's broken. That This is the zone A, zone B thing. So I don't know how this actually works. Oh, this is the Copa de Primera. Okay. So they've been sp we've been split up into two different zones. It looks like it's random. I'm not sure. We're right now in fourth place. Not sure why. Like I, I, I do not know how this works. We finished in seventh place, which is, again, I believe, I think that gets us in the Copa Sudamerica. 27 game season. Boca Juniors went undefeated. So this is what's difficult about this specific uh, league is that Boca Juniors and River Plate routinely go the season undefeated. I've played in Argentina before. And one season, both of them went undefeated. And the only reason one won over the other was the fact that I think uh, one team got a win when another team got a draw. And that was the difference. Boca Juniors looks like they win the league. Toronto FC in seventh, 14, four and nine. So let's take a look at our inbox. We won $1.2 million for finishing in seventh place, which is nice to see. We're going to go to the calendar because we only want to move one day forward so we can get our first youth academy report from Chile. Let's have a look at that. Six foot two player, six foot uh, seven five, six foot, just nothing. We are getting really, really bad youth academy reports. Not a single person worth even taking a flyer on. I'm not one to complain so I, or say I'm happy at the club, but I'm worried that this trend is almost over now and we don't look like we brought in enough players to strengthen. We're good enough. But maybe he's got a point. Andre Reyes would probably be a good signing, but I kind of like our two defenders. Andre Reyes, power header, would strengthen. You know, he's he's an improvement over Mabeka. Do we do that? Do we strengthen there? I think keeping this team going as it is is probably the right move. We'll see. And there it is. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen eventually. Besiktas is coming in for Jonathan Osorio. They're offering me quite a bit of money for him. He's a good player, but he is aging. You know what? These guys are probably in either the Champions League or the Europa League. So, yeah, let's try to get some more money out of them. Oh, they're willing to pay way over what the top level was for him. I think, I, again, it's one of those things where you kind of got to accept it. I think going to Turkey makes sense for him. Scored the brace at the end of the end of the season to secure seventh place. But a good transfer came in for him. Like, I, I have no choice. Osorio's got to go. Connor Ronan's a player that we looked at. He doesn't have the best of stats. He can play in the cam position, but he's got good finishing, good free kick accuracy. Perhaps he's the guy we bring in until Insigne comes back. I think this guy would be a good signing. Look at the finishing, 72 finishing. Short passes, 74. As a cam, I think this guy could be a good pickup. There's just something about this guy that's always stood out to me. That balance, the stamina, the vision, the finishing and free kick accuracy, the short passing, ball control. 
We're going to bring him in. He's only going to cost us about $2.6 million, which is fine. And again, this is kind of just a um, stopgap until Insignia comes back. Almost no money, except all day, every day. Personally, I like it. Maybe it's not the best move, but ooh, bad negotiation. Yeah, because because I paid the release clause, they're not happy with that. Andre Reyes from the MLS to Argentina. I think bringing him in is, you know, logistically makes sense. I should be able to do it without paying the release clause. And it immediately strengthens my defense, which is, you know, Mabika is great and all, but I could use something a little bit more solid back there to see if we can get better performances all around. So they want 3.75 for him. Let's, uh, let's go down to 3.5. I'm sure they'll say yes to this. And uh, we'll just go that way. All right, that's fine. Give him a three-year contract. He's young. He should expect that. Cool. No release clause. 6.5. All right, fine. Whatever. Give him 10,000 and he should be happy. Way more than he's currently making. There you go. He becomes my best defender. So this should be a good one. Decent buy? Really? Man. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm losing on the uh, negotiations here. This is kind of, uh, kind of embarrassing. We'll go real quick. Connor Ronan will start. Reyes starts over Hedges. The truth is, Jimenez starts over Mabika. This is our new defensive line. So, here we go. Copa de Primera, first game. Toronto FC versus LAFC. Great strip by Nardoni. Let's go. Stolen. Oh, you saw that. You saw that. You saw that. Watch this. Why is my defender running in to make a defensive play, slamming his feet on the ground, and jumping back out of the way? What a joke. What a joke of a game. What a joke. Like, I don't know what else to say. Well, that was a big... The hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous. <laughs> it's I love it. I love it. I love when the game does, plays like this. It just makes it so easy to ignore. Love it. I love it. I love that I've taken two shots and haven't hit the net. I love that they're one for one on shooting. I love that every shot they've taken has been on net. I love they've taken three shots and scored twice, but I haven't hit the net. I love every minute of this. Ah, what a joke. What a joke. What an absolute travesty of a game. Um, speed. Great defending. Beautiful defending. 10 out of 10, top tier defending. If that's a foul, if that's a red card foul, you've never not gotten a red card. Everything you've done is a red card. If that's a red card foul, your entire team is on the bench right now with a red card. If that was a red card foul. What a disaster. Come on, ref, blow the whistle. Let's go. This was a disaster. This was an absolute... I, I completely lost my head. That was a disaster of a game. Complete and utter capitulation. It could not have gotten worse. Oh, and there is, it just got worse. Watford have come in for Marth, Mark Anthony K. Again, if we're being completely honest and sincere here, even though Watford might be in the, uh, actually, hold on, before I do this, let's see, what are Watford in the Premier League? Even in the championship, it's better than Argentina, I would assume. Yeah, Watford are in the championship. If I'm being absolutely sincere, this is a kind of a no-brainer. All right, well, I want $2.7 million for him then. 2.35, holy crap, how did I? 2.4? Submit. Okay. Look, I, I feel... I feel bad about this, sort of, kind of, but Watford, you, you'd you assume that he would want to go there. Yep, Mark Anthony K is gone. We got $2.4 million for Mark Anthony K. Again, I feel like that's a fair thing, given that 
it's in England, it's a championship or a quality squad. I feel that that's a fair transfer. There goes Mark Anthony K. We've made a lot of transfers here. Now, you might be wondering why I'm willing to let go of a lot of these key players. It's I want to rebuild this team. I want I want to get younger players in. I want to get youth academy players in. I want to really make this team my own. So some of these guys, I don't mind them going. Mark Anthony K is as well as he has played ever since he went to central defensive midfielder. The amount of shots he's missed, the amount of goals he's missed, you know, and we're getting a ton of money for him. And we have players that can play in this position. Let's see if Chile brought anybody back. Looks like there might be a guy way at the bottom of that list who looks like he has a high overall, but let's see. Mario Pardo, 66 to 90 potential, 51 to 69 overall, 550,000. Looks like a good player here. He's listed as a left back, left footed left back, uh, great potential. So he's probably in the right position. Let's see. He doesn't have a lot of pace. So I wonder if CDM makes more sense for him. He doesn't have great crossing. He's got good physicals. And his defensive awareness is okay. But the lack of pace, I think a CDM is more of a position for this guy. Game number three, coming off a very, very bad game. A very bad game. I had to slow down and kind of just reset myself and get my, my energy back in the right place because I was I lost my mind. Let's see if we can recover from that terrible 5-1 loss. Uh, Jimenez is out. So let's put in Mbika. Cervania is going to start. Bradley will come off the bench. Ruddy will come off the bench. Kerr will come off the bench. And then the two wingbacks will come off the bench. Game three, Camera coming off a horrendous, horrendous 5-1 loss. A horrendous next. performance. At home, BMO Field. Let's see if we can get something. We've lost a lot of players, a lot of new guys on the squad. Let's see if we can find some common ground here. Wow, right off the bat, terrible turnover. And then uh, give it right back to him because my guys don't move. Great steal by Cervana. Two Ubo finds Thompson, who has a terrible touch. Great interception by Abrego. Finds Nardoni to Ronan. Let's get this wide. What an interception, brother. Like, how did you have any idea I was going there? To Abrego. Who gets in? Kicks it out of bounds. <laughs> we can't even we can't even call that across. He just kicked that ball straight out of bounds. Ronan with it. To Ugbo. Great shot, great save. Okay, let's get across in. Let's try to get our... Oh, this is gone. Oh, maybe. Oh! What a header! Mabika! Or sorry, that's Reyes with a power header. Floats it off the crossbar. Oof. Thompson should have really gotten that ball. Let's go, Cervania. In his first start, playing fantastically. Oh, good defending. Nice pass. Ubo. Oh, buddy. You're killing me with these passes. Patreta. Great save. They cleared out this shot taker. Great give and go. I would have liked to see my strikers get in there a little bit harder and, and you know, be in the middle of the box. But we got the shot off. Goalkeeper made a good save. Great defending. Petretta. Hey. Game. Game. That's not allowed. I'm sorry. That's cheating. Great defending. Let's go, Mabika. Let's go, Mabika. To Thompson. Whole oh, cut. Great steal. I really, really like to see that ball go through, but that was a good steal. Go, Thompson. Go, Thompson. Oh, good defending. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Good defending. I am... I can't get anything. I can't get a break. Please put it far. There we go. To Kerr. Come on, buddy. Across to Igbo. I think uh, on the bingo card... That was the last thing that was missing from this game. Was a missed net. 
Let's go. Out wide. Goker. That's a big foul there. Across the curve. Let's go. In the 89th minute, DeAndre Kerr. Finally, something falls for us. He got hit by the defender. Never a call. Kept running, kept going. Gutierrez puts a beautiful cross into his path. Like that foul there. He keeps going. Look at this cross. And Kerr, one touch, finds the back of the net. Let's go. What a frustrating game. And we finally found the back of the net. Oh my God. I am not going to enjoy editing this video. I'll tell you that much. Oh my goodness. DeAndre Kerr. Three has decided that two additional minutes are Great defending by Abrego. Steals the ball. Let's kill the clock. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. That game, the, like the uh, LAFC game, and now this one really tested all of my patience. And to be fair, it broke my patience. I, I lost my mind. And there you have it, <clears throat> a rough end to this episode. The, the games didn't go the way that I was hoping they would. I got way too frustrated. I, 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 I lost my cool. I lost my temper playing the game. Also, the, the fact that the season ended as soon as it did caught me off guard. I don't know why I didn't notice before that the last half of the year is just the cup games, but that's my, my mistake. With all that being said, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. I know I did. And if you did like this video, please go on ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. And remember, if you want to follow along these games while I play them, you can hop over to twitch.tv slash freestyle and join the live streams there. Until next time, this is Freestyle signing off. Peace. Hey!